Hello. Today our topic will be testing of distance protection relay. And I have one relay here with me which I'm going to test and I'm going to show you an example how this is done. So of course first we'll open the application for distance protection. Since I don't have this relay I'm testing in the library I'm, but I do have the Rio file I'm going to insert import the real file into my distance 21 application so my first step here would be to connect to my drts which is right now operational I click ok and when you see this cursor blinking like that you can see here right now that drts is connected i'm also looking at my drts and i see that it has remote control written on it my next step is clicking File, Open, and then choosing my Rio file. So this will be the Rio file for my relay. The type of the relay is Protecta, and it's a multifunctional relay, but this is the distance protection application. We can just take a look here and see if all the values which we imported from Rio file are OK. Usually you don't have to do that, but just I'm checking that my nominal voltage is 57.735 phase to phase, which is 100 phase to ground. 1 amp is the nominal current for my relay because it has the ratio of 300 to 1 CT. Maximum current 2 amps. You can decide what is your maximum current if you don't want to go too much overboard in order to protect your current inputs. You, and if you want to generate a pre-fault with a certain current, you can enter that current here. So, for example, 0 0.1. The first step now will be generating pre-fault, because I don't have to switch on the DC, because I already did that before. Apply pre-fault. And right now, I'm looking at my relay, and I see that the relay is measuring three times 57.7 volts and that the current is measuring three times 0 0.1 amp. Of course these are the pre-fault values which don't trip the relay and I'm going to do one basic test right now. So I'm going to choose first of course from network I go to test selection and I choose general function tab and in general function tab I choose click and test. So with click and test when I click the DRTS will generate the currents and the voltages which I need in order to trip the relay. So first, before I continue, I need to confirm this. And before I click, I want to turn your attention to these numbers here, which are zero. But as soon as my cursor goes on the, into the RX plane, you will see this change. So right now, for example, here you can see that I would be generating 2 amps and 28 volts. And the only value changing here would be the voltage and the angle of the current. On the other side, if I come here, then of course my current and voltage are in phase, which can be seen because this is the current. The voltage has zero degrees, and the current has 0 0.36 degrees, which is basically zero. Another thing you can do is you can control the pre-fault time. So for 0 0.2 seconds, when I press click, I will be generating. Uh, uh, nominal uh, pre-fault values. My maximum generation time is 3 seconds. Be always careful that this time is longer than the longest tripping time, otherwise you won't be able to test the longest tripping time, the, the, the highest zone. And hold. Hold is for how long will the DRTS be holding the current after it receives the trip command. This thing here is used to make testing more realistic because the circuit breaker, when it receives a tripping command, doesn't open instantaneously. It's impossible. It takes about 50, 60, 70 milliseconds for the circuit breaker to open. I will choose to generate 0, 0.0 current after the DRTS receives the tripping signal. You can choose the faults you're going to do here. So single phase, B phase, three phase. Or also when you test, instead of clicking somewhere here, you can also write an exact value of the impedance 
here and then press insert to the test list. But first, let's click in zone 1 and see the trip. So, I see my relay tripping and you can also see the relay tripping here because you can see that the tripping time is 35.6 milliseconds. That's zone 1 and that's a pass. Let's go to zone 2. Again, we have a pass. It was zone 2 and it tripped in 300 milliseconds. The nominal tripping time is, uh, I'm sorry, 302.8 milliseconds, while the nominal time is 300. This is now zone 4, because my zone 3 is in the back. If I click here, I expect tripping in 600 milliseconds. I got 607.8, which is still a pass. Zone 5 should trip in 900 milliseconds, so I got 900.4, and this is okay. I will trip also zone 3, which is in the back, to see the tripping in 1.2 seconds, and actually it's 1.2026, which is of course a pass. To complete my testing, I can click also outside to see that the relay will not trip, and I have my task done. Now, to show you what I meant before, let's say we want to generate here something, for example, so that's 10 ohm uh, reactive. So if I say I want to generate 10 ohm at the angle of 90 degrees, sorry, so this should be 10. If I click this, I will see the point coming right here. And if I want to test this, I just press start. And I got a trip again in zone 2. So this was click and test, where you click and the DRTS tests. I can now print this result in PDF and then I can show you another way how to test this relay. So file, I'm going to add a certain note to the test. Test went well. All functions are working properly. I'll click OK. Then, for example, I will choose the company logo. Let's choose Let's choose, for example, ISA logo. And I'm going to print now, file. But before I print, I have to store all tests. Yes, transfer. I can see them now here. All of them are pass. File, print. Include the notes page, show graph, OK. And now the printing will be, the report is being built. We can see right here after we expand that all this information are not here because I intentionally didn't write them. Some of them are, but if I go down to the next page, you go to the next page clicking this button, I can see my graph and I can see my results. And all this is just for L1 and it's a shot. If I had more phases I would have had them discriminated. Each phase would have had its own graph. So in order to print you're going to click here and choose for example PDF. Of course doc is available, XLS, CSV, we're going to choose PDF and we're going to print a report which will look like this. Click OK. You have to close this window, minimize this, also minimize this and let's look at our report and the report is right here. Of course if you print it in doc you would be able to change this but right now we cannot because I do not own a PDF editor.
you can see our clicks here, test went well, or functions are working properly, and then a person can sign here, a tester and the person who is approving. So this is the basic way of testing the relay, distance relay. In the next video, we are going to show you some additional functions. Thank you.